This is a very cool maneuver that Vernon Griffith uses for increasing spinal mobility. The first thing you might notice is that we're directly up against a wall. And this should be considered a point of fixation, limiting the motion of the lower body. This, along with the leg position, prevents the pelvis in particular from moving. The major motions done are extension, side bending, and at the end, rotation. Through the motions, the thorax is taken away from the pelvis. With such a distance increase between those solid, bony structures, everything will lengthen or stretch. This will mainly happen to the abdominal muscles and lumbar spinal tissues. And as we transition through these full and twisting ranges, essentially every tissue fiber direction is engaged. In an interesting way, this actually has a big effect on the overall ribcage mobility as well. On the inferior lower end of the ribcage attaches the ab muscles and the lower spinal erector muscles. When these muscles don't lengthen fully, it limits the total movement capacity of the ribs. Further to this, up top, the arm position influences the ribcage because the arms pull on the ribs and sternum in front through the pec and serratus anterior muscles. And, arguably, because the ribs interface with the thoracic spine in back, this also influences that part of the spine. It's almost like the different parts of the body were meant to work together. Crazy, right?